Hello, my name is Kevin Ohlendorf, and I'm the president of the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory. For over 80 years, our laboratory has been fabricating all types of space maintainers to help dentists manage space for their pediatric patients. We're the experts in this field, and we've seen it all. I want to share with you our expertise so that you can provide your patients with the best preventive care possible. Since the passage of the Affordable Care Act, healthcare and dentistry has been focusing their attention towards preventive treatment. Pediatric space management with appliance therapy is an excellent way to prevent arch length loss in young patients. When space is lost prematurely, teeth can drift causing crowding in the arch, so the permanent teeth are not able to erupt properly. This can lead to more complicated and costly orthodontic treatment later on. Instead of a simple fast treatment, the patient may need extractions or distalization treatment that takes much longer to complete. A simple space maintainer early on can save your patients time and money when it comes time for orthodontics. Let's take a look at some space maintainers and see how they can benefit your patients. For years, the standard appliance for unilateral space loss has been the band and loop. This appliance consists of a band on a molar and a wire loop that engages the distal of the tooth you're trying to hold. The wire will hold the space so neither of the teeth can move. Usually this appliance has a wire facing mesial. In very young patients where the first molar has not erupted enough to band, you can place the band on the first deciduous molar and run the wire distally to the mesial of the permanent first molar. For this design, you want to make sure there is good root structure on the first deciduous molar or the space maintainer will be lost once the tooth is lost. The band and loop is ideal for unilateral space maintenance. In some cases the second deciduous molar needs to be removed and the first permanent molar has not erupted yet. A band and loop would not work because there's nothing to anchor the appliance to. The first molar may erupt tipped or more mesial than normal without the help of the second deciduous molar to guide it as it erupts. In these types of cases, a distal shoe appliance will guide the molar as it erupts and hold the space for the missing tooth. The appliance has an extension that extends below the tissue to the mesial edge of the first molar. Please be sure to send us an x-ray so we can see how far to extend the wire and how far below the tissue to make the extension. As the molar erupts, it will come in contact with the wire and guide it into position. In this picture, the molar is already erupted, so you can see what it will look like later on. Normally, this is made before the molar has erupted. On the upper arch, many doctors prefer to use a Nance button as a bilateral space maintainer. The Nance button can be placed on the permanent first molars or second deciduous molars. An acrylic button is made in the palate as anchorage to prevent the molars from drifting forward. This is a very effective appliance, however, some doctors report issues with the acrylic contacting the tissue. Food can get stuck under the acrylic and the tissue can become irritated. It's difficult for the patients to clean under the button. If you're planning on the patient wearing a space maintainer for over a year, this may not be the best solution. For long-term wear of an upper space maintainer, you may want to consider a transpalatal space maintainer. This appliance has bands on the first molars and a wire with a loop across the palate. By linking the two molars together, you will create an anchor that will prevent the molars from being able to drift forward. Even though there is nothing in the anterior region, the molars will not move. We always contour the wire as close to the palate as possible to keep it out of the way of the tongue and make the appliance as comfortable as possible for the patient. This appliance is great for long-term wear and can be a better option than the Nance appliance. Maintaining space in the anterior can be as important as maintaining space in the posterior. 
the premature loss of a central or lateral can cause as much of a problem, if not more, than the loss of a cuspid or molar. A very popular way to maintain anterior space and improve aesthetics is the Groper Pediatric Anterior Bridge. This appliance can be anchored on the deciduous molars or the first permanent molars if they've erupted enough to band. A lingual wire is welded to the bands and a special pad is welded to the wire. We will attach a tooth or teeth to this pad. The pad greatly improves the strength of the appliance and the bond of the tooth to the wire. This appliance can be made to replace a single tooth or as many as six teeth if needed. For this appliance, it's very important to send both an upper and lower model along with the tooth shade. The Groper appliance is an excellent appliance to maintain anterior space and improve the patient's smile. In the lower arch, a lingual arch is a very common bilateral space maintainer. The best design will have bands on the first permanent molars, but if they have not erupted enough to band, you may need to band the second deciduous molars. A wire is welded to the bands and contoured around the arch at the gingival margin. The wire should contact all the teeth. Each contact point is an additional point of anchorage to prevent the molars from drifting forward and the arch length from being lost. There are a couple of variations to this appliance that you may want to add. Some doctors like to add distal stops to prevent the teeth from drifting distally. These simple stops can hold the exact space from the missing tooth or teeth. A small amount of bonding over the stop and onto the tooth can create an additional retention point to help hold the appliance in place even better. This stop will prevent the wire from flexing and can be very helpful if the patient will be wearing this appliance long term. Another addition to the lingual arch are loops. Some doctors like to add loops mesial to the first molars to allow for some adjustments. In some cases, you may want to flare the anteriors forward to recapture arch length that may have already been lost. This occurs most often when the cuspids are lost early. The anteriors may move lingual and the space for the permanent cuspids can be lost. The lingual arch will prevent an, any additional space loss and the loops can be activated to move the anteriors back to their correct position so there's room for the cuspids to erupt properly. You may want to add a small amount of composite to the lingual of the anterior teeth to create a shelf or undercut to prevent the wire from riding up the lingual of the teeth. The composite will make sure the force is directed properly so you get the most efficient movement possible. As you can see, there are many variations to even the simplest of space maintainers. If you're using a variation of one of these appliances that is different than what I have shown, please let us know. We can fabricate these appliances any way you want us to. We will keep your specific instructions on file so you get your appliances fabricated the way you want them every time you send us a case. In order to send us a case for a space maintainer, we will need a working model or PVS impression of the arch. We normally don't need an opposing model unless you're getting a Groper appliance. One big question we always get is about sending in bands. About 75% of the doctors send us cases without pre-fitted bands. We select and fit the bands and fabricate the entire appliance for you. If you want to fit your own bands, you certainly can. All we ask is that you don't pour up the bands in the model. Please send them separately in a plastic bag. We have found that we can get a better fitting appliance when you send the band separately. It's very difficult to get an accurate fitting band when pouring it in the impression. We have to take the bands off the model to finish the appliance anyway and this will help save us a couple of steps. Once we receive the case, we will fit the band to the proper position and then fabricate the appliance for you. All you have to do is send the bands in a plastic bag and we will take care of the rest. Be sure to let us know if you will be extracting teeth before you place the appliance. We can remove these teeth from the model before fabricating the appliance. 
This will help us provide you with the best fit possible. Thank you for watching this video on Space Maintainers. If you'd like more information about our services or other appliances, please visit our website or our YouTube channel. We specialize in appliance therapy and we'd appreciate the opportunity to fabricate some appliances for you so we can provide you with the expertise that comes with being in business for over 80 years. Most space maintainer cases are fairly straightforward, but if you have a question about a case or need design assistance, please call us right away. Our technical support experts are available to answer your questions. If you're unsure about the best appliance for a specific case, we can help you decide on the best design or customize a design to fit your patient's needs. We have a tremendous amount of expertise and information to share with you, and we can let you know what works and what doesn't, and why one design may be better for you than another in a specific case. All you have to do is send us the case and write call me on the prescription sheet. When the case arrives, one of our expert technicians will look at the case and call you about it. This service is always free of charge and we're happy to answer your questions. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you will consider sending us a case or two so that we can demonstrate to you the many benefits that we have to offer at the Ohlendorf Appliance Laboratory.